Let's talk about Super Tuesday, Decision 2024. Kim Ogg's time as Harris County District Attorney has come to an end. Her challenger and former prosecutor, Sean Tier, defeated Ogg in the highly contested Democratic primary with 51.9 percent, uh, actually now 75 percent, right, of the precincts reporting. Oh, no, 51.9 percent of precincts reporting. Tier won 75 percent of the vote. Ogg only gained 25 percent of the vote. Our Kathy Hernandez is live at the Harris County Criminal Courthouse this morning, breaking down all the numbers for us. Kathy, good morning. Good morning to you. Sean Tier won the Democratic primary with overwhelming support, but it is not over. Now his next challenge is on to November and the general election. But last night it was a celebration at 8th Wonder Brewery as Tier led with early and Mellon votes by more than 50 percent. Tier has emphasized a tough on crime stance coupled with progressive approaches to address rising crime rates. Tier thanked his supporters last night and said the numbers show voters are ready for change in the D office. We have a vision. We have something that we really all want to do. And what you just saw with those numbers absolutely means that the public's coming with us. The voters are coming with us. We are going to change Harris County. Over at the Giant Texas Distillery last night, all conceded to Tier and thanked her supporters. She highlighted things she was proud of during her time as the district attorney, including to, quote, improve public safety through evidence-based prosecution and equal justice for all. Ong said for the last nine months of her term, she will continue to pry towards public safety, but she's proud of the work she's done. And I want to tell my fellow Houstonians, who I've lived with all my 64 years, every day in this city, and tell you that if doing my job cost me my job, then I leave with my head held high. All right. Cheers at both parties there. As you can see, Tier will now face attorney Dan Simmons. He is the lone Republican candidate in November. We did reach out to Simmons' office as well this morning, obviously very early, but we want to reach out to him to see if he has any comment and his plans ahead of the November election. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.